Rodney Fox expedition started cage diving and filming great white sharks back in the 1960s and I've been coming out since late 70s and right throughout the last 37 years uh, hardly missing a trip. The Neptune Islands are south of Port Lincoln and the last stop before you get to Antarctica. It's a really important place for versial breeding and sea lions and great white sharks. It has South Australia's largest sea lion and versial colony in particular. The great white sharks migrate there every year and use that as a stop off point to fill up. And we see the same sharks year after year arriving there. Cage diving was invented back in the mid 60s, about one year after my dad Rodney was attacked by a great white shark. And he wanted to overcome his fears and he invited Ron Taylor out to film the first ever footage of great white sharks under the water. We uh, hang our hat on uh, catering for divers that want to go all the way to the ocean floor um, up to 20 to 30 meters down and down there the sharks are more at home they become more intimate and a lot closer it's a very controlled safe uh, great way to view great white sharks I love to see each shark turn up and uh, see if I can recognize that shark and I've usually got names for all of those sharks and that's uh, a basis for all of the other research that happens here if we can get good shots of all of the specific markers on each shark, we can uh, go back into our database regularly and look for patterns of revisitation and we know the history of that shark in the area. Yeah, we like to get the shark's attention by putting burly or chum into the water, but there's a big responsibility not to overdo that or to deliberately feed the shark, so we limit the amount of opportunities that the sharks get to feed. The, the sharks here uh, tend to do a lot of their predation under the water, but occasionally there are some individuals that are specialists and they can jump right up by as any other, other shark from South Africa. We also like to look at the impact that we have as operators directly at the Neptune Islands themselves. We look at the relationships between individuals and the environmental factors that change that uh, diversity and the abundance of the different populations that are there. I can't wait to get back out there and work with photographers and filmmakers, researchers. We get a lot of tourists that sponsor the whole platform to do the other creative productive work.